Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your August 2016 general readings. I am still using my beloved Gilded Tarot deck by artist Ciro Marchetti, drawing <clears throat> eight cards for the month, two cards for each week with an additional ninth card representing your crowning energy and overall feeling for the reading. Make sure that you check your rising and your moon sign as well because if this is your primary sun sign, it may not resonate as predictively for you as your other signs or if you're like me, you may find that each of your three signs resonates for you um, in different areas of your life each month. So check all three to get as clear a picture of the time ahead as possible. I have to say thank you to those of you who continue to watch and listen and subscribe to my channel and give such wonderful feedback. I love uh, the comments, both the ones that you put directly on the channel uh, page and the ones that some of you sometimes send directly to my email describing how the readings uh, play out for you in your lives. I read every single one of them even though I of course don't have the time to respond. So uh, please keep those coming. I enjoy them very much and thank you so much. And always a special thank you to those of you who uh, keep me so blessedly busy with personal one-on-one -on -one readings. It is an honor and a pleasure to read for you and I'm grateful for the trust that you place in me to interpret and intuit the cards for you and your consistent feedback and how those readings play out for you. And if any of you are interested in a personal reading, you can click on the little about button on my YouTube channel's homepage that will give you a little more information and detail on who I am and what I do and uh, my contact information. You can email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I love doing personal readings and I would be delighted to work with you. So send me an email and we will go from there. In terms of uh, turnaround time, which I'm frequently asked about, it can be anywhere from as soon as one day, depending on reschedules to four or five days, but almost always within a week. So uh, contact me and uh, we will set something up for you if you're interested. So moving right along, this reading is for Capricorn for August 2016. Capricorn, August 2016. What does, what does the month of August hold for the earth sign of Capricorn? My mountain goat, Capricorn, August 2016. August 2016 for Capricorn. Okay, <clears throat> we begin with the night, we begin with an offer. We begin with the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the Sun. The Three of Pentacles, followed by the Five of Swords. The Page of Cups, followed by the Knight of Wands. And the Page of Wands, followed by the Six of Wands. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy is the Strength card. I can see why. There's a lot of... Uh, fire energy, some, it looks like two different people coming in to make it, it's almost like you're being chased this month, Capricorn, but in a good way. Um, I see a couple of pages here, which are uh, the youngest and least mature energies of the court cards. Perhaps we're just throwing caution to the wind this month and being very unlike your earth element. <coughs> Excuse me, let me just take a look at this. Okay, let's begin Capricorn. So we find ourselves at the beginning of August 2016 with the Knight of Pentacles followed by the Sun. So the Knight of Pentacles. Pentacles is governed by the element of Earth and it is a suit all about things in an earthly tangible environment. Things like money, finances, property, job, resources, assets, etc. You can apply that same energy to spirituality, love, and relationships. It's, it's tangible things, though. It's tangible results of efforts we put into something, things we can see and touch and feel. And knights are the bringers of the tarot. Um, when you see a knight in a reading, they typically represent an offering, an offer, something being brought to you, or you being the one doing the offering. But I feel like it's external coming in for you this month, Capricorn. They are typically associated with a fair amount of speed, too. As 
as um, they are more evolved than the pages, but they are still somewhat spontaneous and impulsive. And they were the ones sent out on missions and quests, so uh, they do tend to kind of charge ahead and, and get things accomplished. Out of all four of the knights, however, the Knight of Pentacles is probably the slowest because he's governed by Earth, so he's the most thoughtful, the hardest working, I think. Uh, so this Knight of Pentacles at Capricorn would represent that somewhere in the beginning of August 2016, I'm recording this at the end of July. It looks like somebody is bringing something to you, making an offer and giving an offering of some kind, and it's a tangible sort of offering. And uh, this could represent somebody in your sphere, coming into your sphere, who would be an earth sign, which would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, uh, making a very tangible offering. Well, what are they offering? Well, paired with the Knight of Pentacles is the Sun card, Major Arcana card. It's a beautiful, lovely, delightful card. Uh, there's a strong social theme to this card and a, and a theme of fun as well. When you think about everything the Sun brings, light, love, warmth, laughter, it illuminates everything and it encourages things to grow. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful sort of energy. It's happiness, fun, laughter, uh, good times, getting together, maybe taking a trip. So some of you, uh, some of you may be getting an offer from somebody this month to go out, enjoy yourself, have fun, maybe take a little trip, take a vacation to someplace sunny and warm. <clears throat> it feels like a very sincere offer, but it is tangible. Again, I'm feeling trip for some of you. Some of you um, are being offered to go somewhere, go on a trip, go and enjoy yourself and have some fun. When we see the sun card, it, it typically comes up to, I see when people are, have just like finished working a lot and they need to take a break. Uh, if finances have been like very restrictive, maybe a loosening up of that. It's an uplifting, uh, lightning, enlightening kind of energy of tight, challenging, dark things getting a little bit easier. Now, right next to that, we have the Three of Pentacles, followed by the Five of Swords. I feel like this is where the challenge comes in or, or where a lot of the hard work or, or whatever it's been focused on is here. And it's about working with other people, compromise and negotiation. And it feels like maybe it's been a bit of a struggle and a challenge and you need a break. Perhaps that's why you're getting this offer of, um, you know, some relief or some good times or, or a little bit of time away or a vacation. <clears throat> this Three of Pentacles, again, that, that Earth earth tangible energy. The Three of Pentacles is a card of, um, it, it, it can be a card of compromise and negotiation, of working with other people. If you're looking, uh, you know, to be recognized solely for your achievements, this would not be that card because it's about working with other people to find, uh, to come to a, a meeting of the minds, a common agreement, working towards a common goal. I sometimes see this card come up when someone has to work with a group of people that they would probably prefer not to work with. It's a bit of a challenge, a struggle to kind of get everybody on the same page. Uh, but there you go for the Three of Pentacles. And I feel like whatever this represents for you, um, this working with other people or having a struggle getting getting people to come to a meeting of the minds, it's taken quite a bit out of you because that Three of Pentacles is paired with the Five of Swords. So swords is governed by the element of air, and it's all about our words, thoughts, ideas, mental outlooks, perspectives, belief systems. The suit of swords is all about how we think, how we look at things what we think when we look at things. And the Five of Swords, it, it is a, a card of victory, technically a victory. Um, it's a victory that's been a bit of a struggle though. You can see this man has just finished a battle and he's won his enemies or foes or whatever this challenge represents for you, Capricorn. Uh, they're on the ground, obviously defeated. He's gathered up all their weapons, their swords, and he's holding his own aloft in victory. But the picture is still kind of grim. The colors are kind of uh, bloody, murky. Uh, he looks very tired, worn out, depleted, exhausted. He's bleeding from a little cut on his forehead. This battle has obviously cost him quite a bit, even though he has achieved a kind of victory. So I feel like Capricorn, whatever you guys have been working on and whoever you've been working with, it feels again like it's been pulling teeth, like just kind of trying to get everyone on the same page, trying to get an agreement. Again, it's going to it could play out, it, this could mean a lot of different, it could play out a lot of different ways, um, both in business, in work, in relationships, in family dynamics. It just feels like it, it's been a struggle to get people to come together or get people to agree on something. And again, uh, perhaps that's why you're getting this offer at the beginning of the month saying, well, it's time, you know, you've been working hard or this has really taken a lot out of you. Let's go out and have some fun. Let's take a little vacation because it looks like you need it. 
Um, now, right next to that, we have what looks like another offer or somebody come charging in. We have another knight, the knight of wands, who's really fast with the page of cups. Page of cups, knight of wands. So the knight of wands, <clears throat> here's another something else being brought to you, another offering being brought. And I, I do have to say, because you're an earth sign, this knight of pentacles could be you making this offer um, to get away uh, to somebody or, you know, a partner, maybe somebody you've been working with in this struggle. But I think for a lot of you, it feels external coming in. But for some of you, it's going to be you. But this is not you. This is somebody else who's charging in, really charging in, because this Knight of Wands, Wands is governed by fire. So this is like one of the fastest, most impulsive, spontaneous Knights. Wands is about desire, drive, uh, uh, manifesting. It's that energy that causes us to manifest. It's an active and dynamic suit. It's about change, movement, action, power, forward momentum. So this knight is very fiery, creative, passionate, um, just full of life. He, again, tends to be kind of spontaneous and impulsive, just goes charging right in there, full of fire and inspiration and wonderful ideas. <clears throat> and he is bringing that sense of excitement to you, making an offering of some kind and something that's very exciting and feels very promising. And he's paired with a page of cups, which pagers are the youngest and least mature energies of the tarot. This could be somebody who's fallen head over heels in love with you, somebody who's pursuing you, or somebody who's very excited perhaps about this thing that you've been working on um, and has some great new fresh inspirational ideals ideas <clears throat> excuse me but this page of cups pages also represent um uh, messages they often represent messages and messengers or young people uh most of the messengers in medieval times were young people so this page, what kind of message would this page be delivering? Well, he's the page of cups. Cups is governed by water. Cups is a suit that's about love, relationships, emotions, feelings. So this message would be an emotional message, a message of love. Uh, the page of cups is somebody who's kind of an idealist, a dreamer, romantic, that youthful energy in love with love himself. So it's like this knight of wands comes charging in. And I, I feel like for those of you for whom this is an external person, <clears throat> coming in. It feels like they're, the energy is one and the same person. They're just, I mean, for some of you, if this is, if what you've been working on is a business project or getting stuff together in an organization of some kind, um, this would represent a significant person who's just full of optimism and hope and bringing new fresh ideas to the table and they're significant in some way because they've shown up in this reading. For some of you, this is in relationships. Somebody is just uh, kind of, you know, you could be you could be being pursued by the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, uh, but this one is is just charging in, you know, just kind of splattering you with messages of love and passion, and you know, just kind of a come run away with me kind of energy. So, and it, and it could be <clears throat> it could be that this Three of Pentacles energy and Five of Swords energy, whatever this meeting of the mind or this, you know, trying to get people to come to an agreement or struggling with compromise and negotiation. This could be in relationships, you know, in this triad sort of energy. I, I mean, again, it's going to play out differently. So um, you'll have to let me know how it plays out for you, for those of you for whom this reading resonates. Now at or towards the end of August 2016, <laughs> it just feels like a little scattered all this fiery movement and energy all over the place this month, Capricorn, and, and you, this stable, grounded earth sign. What's going on, Capricorn? But, I mean, it's all positive, though. Uh, maybe a little reckless, but nothing, nothing really negative showing up here. Although I do have to say with this Five of Swords, this victory card, there is a question attached to this uh, that is it worth it because it, 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 it has and is costing this man a lot. And, you know, is this struggle or whatever it is, maybe those of you who are caught between two people, you know, there is a question, you know, to consider whether or not it's worth it. Uh, but, you know, nothing really feeling negative, just a lot of all over the place, fiery, moving around, uh, kind of scattered um, impulsive energy. And at the end of the month, we have another page. We have the page of wands paired with the six of wands. So just like the knight of wands is the fastest of all the wands, the page of wands is probably the most <clears throat> 
uh, uh, reckless, spontaneous, impulsive, because pages are the youngest and least mature energies. He's the page of wands. He's a very independent, kind of off the beaten path sort of individual, very creative. Uh, freedom is very important to this individual. Um, and if, he, if this represents messages and messengers, uh, it would represent a message of Again, it's, it's kind of the same as the the Knight of Wands, and I, 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 I'm almost, I'm just kind of feeling Capricorn again, like there's more and more as I go on, like there's two different people in your life, and there's just kind of this push-pull kind of energy, and this Page of Wands is representing, I think, I, I'm almost relating it more to you, even though you're an Earth sign, it's kind of like at the end of the month, and again, for those of you for whom this isn't relationship and it's a project or a business thing or, or something else where you're working with a group of people and it just feels like a bit of a struggle and it's kind of all over the place, um, I do feel like things come together at the end of the month and there may be even be some recognition for you because uh, it's paired with the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory and triumph, um, but it's also a card of achievement and recognize uh uh, being recognized for all your efforts, which the Page of Wands would would very much be into because um, he's an off the beaten path, kind of do his own thing. Freedom's very important. It's, it's almost as if you achieve victory and triumph by just being, uh, by just being <laughs> manifesting this energy of the Page of Wands. Again, it's a little confusing because it, uh, there's so much, it feels like there's a lot of wand fire energy for you this month and it's kind of all over the place. For some of you, this, uh, for some of you, you may be a parent and it's, it's this child energy, your, your, ch your child or your children may be going through something or trying to work on something, trying to achieve something and it finally comes together at the end of the month. Again, it's going to play out a variety of different ways, but, but there is victory at the end of the month, a, a cause of celebration, uh, of overcoming or of winning something and being recognized for those for those two and the this the page of wands for some of you could also represent that the message you're getting is that you've triumphed that you're being recognized for that um you're you're getting messages about that you're getting accolades about that because you've been successful on um whatever this project is or um whatever this relationship struggle is <clears throat> for those of you for whom this resonates as relationship you'll have to to either publicly or, or privately email me what this is because I feel like in that sector it, it's actually there's two different people and it doesn't feel negative it feels there's a humorous thread to it but again it just feels like there's a lot of energy and kind of scattered stuff all the way around and it's going to take some strength and kind of maybe facing some fears and insecurities, coming to grips with things, and just overall that inner strength to carry you through the month because your crowning card is the strength card. Major Arcana card is a strength card because um, I think you're going to need some strength and some being grounded to kind of pull it all together because it feels like it feels like it's about taking all of this scattered energy that wants to go off in all different directions and pull it together so you can achieve this success and recognition at the end of the month. Strength is what it's going to take and strength is what you're going to get. And also this kind of strength, it's a quiet grounded kind of strength too and, and, it, and you can see she's tamed this wild beast and this beast is for some of you symbolic of facing fears, facing your demons, facing insecurities, walking through them and that's part of what uh, you gain victory and recognition for at the end of the month. Um, again, whatever this this thing that you're that you're trying to pull together and by thing, I do feel like it involves other people and trying to negotiate between people, trying to get people to agree on something. Again, whether that's in business, your job, uh, family dynamics of some kind, or relationship energy, a tug and a, a pull this way, pull that way between two suitors, perhaps. You'll have to let me know how this resonates for you because for some of you, it's going to be this and for some of you, it's going to be that. Uh, but again, it's just about being strong, grounded, patient, and kind of pulling everything together to get everybody on the same page. But it looks like you do that at the end of the month, Capricorn. And this is where all that lovely earth energy, which is you, is going to really be called upon and, and uh, be useful for you this month. 
So Capricorn, what an interesting, exciting, and and kind of fun reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and that it's given you some clarity and some food for thought. Um, and if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, you can click on the About sign on my channel's homepage for more information, and you can email me directly at Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you, and we'll set something up for you. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the August 2016 mid-month readings, and until then, as always, Capricorn, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. See you soon. Bye.